doing, but we're all about the being able to blow stuff up. So we attach a parachute to every single one of these balloons so that when it comes down it doesn't destroy somebody. It will, however, come down and it can reach speeds of 100 miles an hour on the way down. So this parachute's not an elite parachute, we just kind of temporarily slow this down. <laughs> and when you tie this balloon, you'll develop your own way of tying it. So we have four different employees who launch balloons on the regular, and we have four different ways to do it. So it's all a bit of personal rules to the video. Uh, you will notice that she doubled this off. So this is tied off double string, so it's for safety purposes. We're supposed to have it tied off so that if one breaks, then the whole piece breaks, or the whole piece doesn't get destroyed. However, we only use a single string for the, the rest of it. That line is supposed to be about 50 pound test, so it should not break very easily. So what you see, she just sat there and, and laid out in approximately 75 to 125 feet of line, that's what we call our, our train. The reason why it is so long is because we want to minimize any effects of the balloon. As the balloon's going up, we want, we want that instrument to basically get undisturbed air. And so if we were to tie that balloon at the bottom of this, if we were to tie the sign at the bottom of the balloon, then you would get wake effects from the balloon, so you would get temperatures that would not be as accurate. In case we have tropical systems, we have these little fancy things, train regulators, which allow us to let it go with almost no train, and then this will automatically derail out, so it will go out to approximately 75 feet. Wow. Is that the light that you're not smelling, or is that the balloon, like the, the rubber? The, the latex. The latex. Yeah. What? Yeah. What are we smelling? Yeah, it's not like a. a yeah, I didn't know if it was a hydrogen. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, you smell